fun on hardware. Okay. So if you haven't already, please, please, please go to circuitpython.org, go to the download section, and you what you want to do is get the latest build. Yes. Because we're like seconds away. And we're doing from so launch. much. Yeah, we've been kind of starting on six one. ESP32 S2 supports coming in there. Um, we've added, uh, you know, we're doing more e ink work for sure, including um, supporting grayscale. Um, we, you know, lots and lots of bug fixes as well. Uh, I think a lot of the um, RGB matrix display work that was in six CAN bus, we added CAN bus support. ESP32 S2, STM32 F405, and SAMI54. Uh, now have native CAN bus support and CircuitPython. So really exciting stuff. Check out the latest version. Uh, we've done release candidates. we submit bugs. You got them? Let us know. We're going to fix these bugs, and we're going to we'll do our final release real soon. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about what's in the newsletter this week and what's okay. going on. So Blinka now supports 60 single-board computers. That's right. Now, Blinka is the library. So this yes. is single-board computers that support CircuitPython libraries. That's right. So like 99% of our libraries um, from, you know, Display.io to uh, some, some parts of Display.io to sensors, uh, to motors, to PWM, they can run on a single board computer like a Raspberry Pi or a Jetson Nano or like an Onion, Banana, whatever. The, all these different like weird single board Linux computers, even the latest Pi 400 is supported. Um, and that means what you can do is you can write code in C Python that takes advantage of Linux um, underpinnings, but then can do PWM to control a servo or uh, light up NeoPixels or connect to a barometric pressure sensor. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. I love it because we have uh, one set of examples, one set of libraries, and one, you know, you install an MPY file on the disk drive, and on C Python, you just type in pip up, uh, install. And you're ready to go with the exact same code. So it's wonderful. 60 single board computers are now supported. I don't know of any other hardware API layer that seamlessly works on so many boards. Yeah. Okay? And I've had people tell me, not going to mention who it is on the Armbian forum, of how what a stupid idea was this was. They were wrong. <laughs> this is a great idea. Yeah. This is one of our, my best ideas. Um, and more to come. If you have a single board computer and it's not supported we even have guides on how you can add uh platform detection which is actually kind of the hardest part and then um adding support for all the pins and all the peripherals capabilities like analog digital converters and pwm and all that good stuff uh and then uh boom you know it'll just work it'll be sweet to add support for more devices yeah i'll just tell you a little side note on the um electronics world and the engineering world as someone who works with it and uh, works closely with Lamore. So sometimes Lamore will come up with something or do something, and because another engineer, usually on, like, you know, engineering forums and, like, Twitter and stuff like that, because they can't personally imagine doing that and committing to that level of work and skill and bringing a bunch of people together, like teams, and paying them and having a company, just because they can't imagine it, they don't think it's possible, so they try to shut you down. They say, that's not possible, you'll never be able to do it. Well, here we are. 280 plus CircuitPython libraries on single board computers, and eventually we'll have CircuitPython running bare metal on um, single board computers too. But just because you can't personally imagine it doesn't mean it's not possible. I think that's one of the things that maybe we can all agree. Just check yourself before you say not possible. Maybe not for you, but maybe someone else can, and maybe you can help them because none of this happens in isolation anymore. Like everything takes a bunch of people. And I think that's one of the problems is a lot of engineers work by themselves and they don't work well with others. So they can never imagine what it would take to have a team of people build something together. So that's what CircuitPython is, code plus community. Can't do it alone. And that's, and that's why it's a, such an ambitious thing because no one has gotten enough people that like each other enough <laughs> to, to work on something for a sustained period of time. That's a very deep uh, insight. Yeah. Anyways, okay, more. Speaking Circuit of, Python space. CircuitPython in space update. Um, this is from our community. Um, the uh, spacecraft that uh, they wanted to get up and get Python out in space is going to be launching next month. All the hardware, all the software um, will be public as soon as uh, they get NASA's blessing. This is a Stanford project. And we're going to have CircuitPython in space. Look at this Blinka. She's yeah. in space. So there's at least four spacecraft 
running CircuitPython 531, launching in December by NASA. So Check cool. out at PyCube.org. We have to make like a little CircuitPython board that like it has a countdown for like when we have it them. goes into space. All right. There is a swag badge for the Linux conference in Australia. It runs MicroPython. You can check out the deep dive with Scott if you're interested in e-ink and more. Um, Scott's doing a lot of that. And, of course, the ESP32-S2. Scott's spending a bunch of time on that. Check out Geek Mom Projects. There is a bunch of NeoPixel projects and more. They are beautiful. You can see um, Mark's Adabox 16 Rocky Heart uh, Pixel Show and the Halloween Eye to make a really beautiful display and some music. Check out JP Show with the tricolor thing. We showed that earlier. And um, since everyone got their Ada boxes, they are using the uh, Matrix display to do a countdown. People so, love the countdown code. I see a lot of people like yeah. modifying it. Somebody was like, how many days till you know, their their grandmother visits. It's fun to make little yeah. countdowns. If you're interested in data science, we have a link to the top 10 Python projects on GitHub, image processing in Python. And as you can tell, we're super Python fans. So if you're just interested in Python news only, you'll be able to get that. In addition to all the events and more, we have over 280 libraries. We'll do a little, a little a thing when we get to 300. Yeah, we'll do all sorts of stuff. And all the latest updates from Android and then, folks. Yeah, here's Virtual the... Virtual conferences. You here's can the go events. visit. Yep. And then um, check out Codecademy courses and more. And that is Python on Hardware News this week.